Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. As you can see, the work crew is still out here on the farm working. So today we're gonna take you around, show you what they're doing, talk to you a little bit more about it. We're also gonna address some concerns that some of my viewers had. We'll talk about those concerns and we'll show you we're gonna mark off some areas down here on the creek or near the creek that we don't want them to clear because it's just gonna to be too steep and we don't wanna take the trees away from our creek banks because we want to have that good buffer area. So come along today, we'll have a little bit of fun, watch these guys work for a little bit and talk to you a little bit more about what's going on. They'll probably be here for another, I'm gonna say five days or so, but they're really getting the work done. If you look back here behind me, you really see what they're doing. So let's go have some fun together, all right? I've been running around this farm just chasing them chickens that are running along me. Yeah. I've been running around this farm just chasing them chickens that are running along, yeah. Cause we got goats, we got pigs, and we got chickens. Goats, pigs, and chickens. Goats, pigs, and chickens. Woo! You can see back here, it's different. It's different back here. There are trees still standing. And then if you look back this way, there are pretty much no trees still standing. So we've got to go back and make it clear to the guys on the bulldozer where we want our line. And basically we want our line to be straight up through here. So we're going to take this caution tape, we'll tie it around a tree, and then we'll run around and we'll mark our area. Pretty cool. Now why do we want some land cleared and some land not cleared? Well, the simple fact is, some of it we cannot mow. So if we can't get down here with a tractor and mow it, we don't want it. We don't want to have to fight this. We don't want an area that's so steep that the tractor might turn over or something like that. So we'll fix it up here nice for them. Guys, this ain't rocket science, okay? But there is a little science behind it and you may not know. So if you're having people over to clear your land, do this. This is an easy way to make sure that they do exactly what you want. Okay, so before we get footage of these guys working back here, we're gonna talk to you a little bit about what you're seeing right here. So what you're seeing are the stumps that are rolled up out of the ground. And basically we have stumps anywhere from this big to this big that have to be rolled out of the ground. And our plan is to take this land back to pasture. Our plan from the time we bought the farm was to take this back to pasture. So this used to be all forested. It was just a disaster of trees toppling all over top of each other and basically a waste. Now, when you have land, you've got to manage your land. You've got to make decisions about your land, about how you want to manage your land. What we had to do when we bought our land, some of the decision-making processes had to be made fairly quickly because time is of the essence. Time's of the essence because I'm not gonna get any younger. My wife's not gonna get any younger. I'm 40 years old now and I've gotta get this farm up and running before I'm 60. So we are hitting this really, really hard right now. We're hitting this aggressively. First thing we did was make a determination what we wanted to do with the land. What do we wanna raise? Do we wanna raise cows? Do we wanna raise sheep? Do we wanna raise poultry, pigs? What do we wanna raise? What do we wanna do with the land? Do we want the land to look at as a beautiful place and just mow hay? Or do we want the land to have an actual purpose and to be a working farm that makes a profit? So initially when we started searching for land, what we wanted was a place where we could raise a family. We could have a beautiful small farm, which turns out it's a little bit more than a small farm now. So initially when we bought our property, we bought it in three sections. We bought a 60 acre tract across the road from where we're sitting right now. We bought a 90 acre tract over here and we bought a 40 acre tract. Now these are roundabout figures, they're not exact figures, but we rounded off to basically around 200 acres of land. We then took that land and we thought of a plan. What are we going to do with this land? Why are we moving out of town, buying land, downsizing our lives and our home to move into the country and have a country life. 
So the reason behind this was we wanted to have a clean country life. We wanted to be able to raise our kids in a beautiful farm setting. We want to teach them responsibility and stuff like that. So we decided that we're going to go with a cattle farm. So our plan is to raise beef cows on pasture out here. And also we're going to start a pastured poultry business and we're going to start a pastured egg business. In other words, the chickens will be out on pasture producing eggs and we'll sell those eggs to local restaurants and local residents. And what you're seeing here is a result of all that planning. So we're clearing off all the stumps and debris from land that was abandoned, from land that was not taken care of for years and years in the past. And this used to be pasture. This land right here all around me used to be pasture. All these stumps, all this stuff grew in over the past 25 years or so. Now this is a huge mess to clean up and what's going to happen is these guys will come through, they'll pick all the stumps out, they'll let them dry up a little bit, then they'll toss the stumps up in the air, shake all the dirt off of them, pile them in a big tall pile, stack them up and we'll burn them. I know what you're thinking and there are several questions that were asked in the previous video about this and I'm going to address those questions here in just a minute. So for all you folks that think that this is a huge waste, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about the huge waste, we're going to talk about the expense of doing this stuff, we're going to talk about finances, how we did it, what we did, and the thought processes. Let's go down here and sit on a stump and tell you. A lot of folks ask questions about these stumps and these brush piles, whether I could chip them. No, I cannot chip them. There is no service around here that will chip these up. And if there were a service around here that would chip up these stumps, it would cost me 10 times what it cost me to have them cleared off and burnt. So that's why we're not chipping them up. There is no company around here that will take old dirt covered stumps and chip them up. It is too damaging to the chipper. Second question, why don't you just push them up in a pile and let them gradually rot? Because they will gradually rot until I am dead and gone. We need to rid the farm of these piles of brush. They have to be gone. So we're not going to let them sit in a pile and rot. That just doesn't work. We're clearing land. We're not making a mess. We're cleaning it up. We're making a beautiful place. Next question. Why did you cut the trees? We cut the trees in order to replant the trees. Why would you cut them in order to replant them? Because it's responsible forest management here on the farm. So we just planted 40 acres of trees yesterday and hopefully you'll see that vlog. If you don't see it, boom, right here will be a link or there'll be a link at the end of the video. But we just planted 40 acres of trees here on the farm. We harvest these trees for our profit. We take the money, we put it back into the land for grass seed, clearing, tools, tractors, things that we need here on the farm. That's why we cut the timber. Now, for the folks that think that cutting trees is absolutely horrible and it's the worst thing you could ever do, I think you need to not be ignorant and go and invest some time learning about forestry. Go to your local forestry office and discuss this with them. If you think that cutting trees and managing the forest is the wrong thing to do, Go educate yourself. Don't throw stones at something you don't understand. Educate yourself. You cannot throw stones at something you don't understand or you make yourself look like an ignorant idiot. Next question is, how much does this cost and how do you afford it on a nurse's salary? How do you afford the land on a nurse's salary? Well, the simple answer is we make payments. We make payments to the bank. We make payments for the tractor. We make payments for the land. We make payments for everything we have except for our home. Our home is paid for. Our home was bought in cash. We paid $3,500 for our home, remodeled it, and we live frugally so that we can clear our land and turn our $100,000 piece of property into a $400,000 piece of property. Secondly, how do you afford to clear this land. How can you afford to have these machines here? We can afford to have these machines here because we're smart with our money, we worked hard, we have a plan, and we have a dream. It's not luck. We are very blessed. We're blessed with good health, we're blessed with good careers, and we're blessed because we're both hard workers and that's what we do. We work hard and we save our money and we buy the things that we enjoy. Now you might be riding around in a $60,000 Mustang right now. That's what makes you happy. This is what makes me happy and we saved our money for it and that's how we afford it. Also, when we cut our timber, we probably made somewhere in the neighborhood of $80,000. Now that $80,000 went right back to the land. Not one dime of it is left. None of it is left. Every bit of it has gone back to the land. 
grass seed, clearing land, moving stumps, smoothing land, buying tools, buying equipment. All this stuff costs money. I hope this helps you guys understand a little bit about the person I am and what we're about and what this is about. If you're considering buying land, homesteading, or farming, or clearing land, or having pastures, this is all the stuff that you need to know. If you've never done it before, these are the things that you need to know. And if I make mistakes along the way, I'll tell you about the mistakes. And if I make good choices, I'll tell you about the good choices. And if I make bad choices, I'll tell you about the bad choices. So here on the channel, I'm here to teach you. I'm here to show you. I'm here to educate you. I'm here to show you something cool, something that you may not know about, something that you may have knowledge about, and you can share knowledge back with me. Leave comments down there, guys. Click the thumbs up. It helps the channel. Leave some comments down there. If you like what you see, if you're learning here, please subscribe. Stay with us as we take this farm from big piles of debris and dirt and brush and make it into something like what you see back in here behind me. We've cleared a lot of land and we're gonna keep on clearing land. We planted a lot of trees and we're gonna keep on planting trees. This is a working farm and this is what I see is the right thing to do with our land to make it beautiful, to utilize it to the best of our ability and to be responsible as a responsible homeowner, a responsible homesteader, and a responsible farm owner, and a responsible landowner. So folks, we'll get you a little bit of footage of these guys working, let you watch this heavy equipment at work. I know I really like to watch it. We'll throw the drone up in the air, we'll get a little bit of footage of it, and we'll talk about this stuff as the days go on, as the days progress, and we'll show you how we take this big debris field and turn it into pasture land, beautiful pasture land. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Click that like button, give me some thumbs up. We're gonna give you a little bit of footage here at the end of the video. I appreciate you, and we'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel, all right? Now, pound that like button, pound it. Help my brother out. Thanks, see you next time. Woo! Yes, I was Check this workout. It's a good one. It's fun to watch men at work, ain't it? All right, so I sit here, <laughs> so I fall down. <laughs>